Hey guys, Coach Tony here. Today I'm going to discuss how my philosophy, if then philosophy works with the 11 personnel offense and uh, basically when to go 2x2 two two and when to go 3x1 on a defense to get the best numbers advantage possible. Um, you may be wondering why I have 21 personnel drawn up and that's because I want to discuss first how I scout a defense and the way I like to scout a defense is I want to know their exact structure. I want to really break it down to where I know what they installed week one and what they're comfortable being in. So that being said, when I'm watching film, there's a couple things I look at. Number one, what is their base? How many safeties do they have on their depth chart? And I don't mean steal their depth chart. I'm talking how many, if they play a basic 21 personnel, what's their bread and butter defense that they come out in? And one easy way to tell is when you're watching film and you only see one high safety the entire time, that means they're generically a one high team. And although they may call themselves a 4-2-5 defense or they may list these two outside linebackers types as a DB or they may be wearing a skill jersey such as 27 or 38, in reality, I... These guys are really, as long as you watch film and these guys are never at safety depth at all, unless it's a Hail Mary or cover zero, which then it's obvious what they're doing, I consider these guys a linebacker. So that's the first thing I look at. They're either, and this video is going to be solely about a four-man front. I will do another video on an odd front another time because that's a whole different discussion. But talking four-man fronts. When you see these two down here, 90% chance they are a cover three or cover one team. And with that being said, when you watch film and they come out like this, the other thing I look at is are they an, a balanced or an unbalanced defense? What does that mean? And the reason why I put them in 21 personnel is say I split them evenly down the field. Are they comfortable with an even amount of players and essentially wasting this guy, and I'll explain what that means later, are they comfortable sitting in this style of defense where it's even on both sides, such as a 3-4, in this case a 4-4 or a 3-5, that I consider them a balanced defense? All right. Now, out of 11 personnel, how do I suggest attacking on a balanced defense? This goes for 10 personnel as well. I like to run an unbalanced offense. The reason being is the... Defense is now willing. I would like to send a trips out there. And let's see if they adjust. If they're a base cover three team, chances are they're not adjusting. And as if you've seen my previous video on the run and shoot, you probably know where I'm going with this. The number one thing I like to do is since we have, there's no number three on our number two, you know, there's only, when you do the quick box count, they got two on one, this is dead. You look over here, we have three on there too, and this free safety, unless he's freaking Superman, he's in no man's land. He's above the hard deck, as they say in the R4. So we got three on there too. The basic thing is in the run game, we run our speed option, our power read, our outside zone, any, anything where you're able to take the edge. We could just double team this guy off the bat, and there's nothing containing this gap on the field. Corner ain't sure as hell ain't doing it, and neither is he. So number one thing I'll, I'll look for is I want to attack that outside space. The next step in the run game is any interior run, such as an inside zone look, where we're really attacking that opposite A gap, we're going to read over here. I want the QB booting or, read on the, or on his read option, that would be his path. So again, just to clarify, in the run game, if I'm going to run outside, I want to run to the strength because we got him outnumbered. If I'm going to run inside and have a bootleg or something, I want that going that way because this guy has us outnumbered and I want to waste this guy. Because if we run a sweep that way, this guy is just late to suit. He's not doing a damn thing. If we run an inside zone here, this guy's pretty much walled off. Very few times you're going to see him realistically peek his nose back into the box. And on a keeper, we could seal this guy and run outside that, out, uh, that defensive end. QB should be home free. As for the pass game, I like to flood this side of the field, even if it's a basic stick route. Double outs, tight end, we should be able to play off the flat defender. 
when you run and shoot guys, air raid guys, you know what to do here. You just flood that side of the field, and we can flood that cover three zone. That just puts the defense in a bind. And what, um, the only thing they could really do is they could check to cover one and bring that linebacker over your slot. They have a number of things. If you watched my previous video, I'll take my street football matchup right here all day until the cows come home. I'll also run my outside runs this way. And I'll run my boots and keepers this way because there's no nothing containing besides this fat defensive end who we could outrun or reach or just at least fold up and run around. All right? So, again, if they're in cover three and they're going to play you balanced, you go trips, you try to outnumber them. They bring a guy over, we're just going to keep hitting them weak. All right? So that's how you attack one high safety in a or a balanced defense. All right, now let's go over the opposite. And I'll start with 21 personnel just to explain myself and I'll move out what I would do. So bear with me a second. All right, so there's our 21 personnel look. Generic shotgun, 4-2 box. Now an unbalanced look and I'll put the line down the middle. They have two high safeties. Why do I call this an unbalanced look? Because with this overhang, this linebacker, down safety, space back, whatever you want to call them, he's on one side or the other. You can't put them on both sides. Therefore, they are going to have to unbalance. Structurally, they are going to have to either unbalance from one side to the other or walk this linebacker out. Therefore, what do I like to do against this type of an unbalanced defense? I like to go two by two. Because, so I like two by two because I want to balance myself out and force him to go unbalanced one way or the other or empty the box. So in a basic 4-2 defense, you may see, and I'll just erase the midline here. Again, we do our box count, right? We got two over here, two over here. I'm not counting the back. That's for the air raid guys. They, they know what to do with the back. Uh, we got two on two here. Again, you got a street football matchup. Some guys, they'll play quarters, two read over here, and just play cover zero over here. And with no help in the middle, we could take advantage of that with a post, double post, post over dig. You guys know what to do. Basic quick game. You have two on two. It's up to your scheme to take that. And again, probably know where I'm going with this. I like my sweet plays go into this twin side. If they're giving us two on two, there is no flat defender. There's no overhang. I want to attack that with the outside runs. And I want keeper going that way with the QB on inside runs. All right. The only Now, again, we're going to let them pick their poison. If they choose, for whatever reason, to bring that space backer over here. Just like in three by one, they got three over our two. This is dead. Now I'm going to want to attack this way. And again. You got your tight end, you run a basic stick route. Out, run the go, run the out. Flood, a million different routes you could draw. If you're a run and shoot guy, air raid guy, any pass going to the two man side because you could outrun this linebacker, you got two on two. Again, outside runs, they're giving up, <laughs> very dangerous. There's nobody out here. And very few guys today will bring this end and put him in a nine tech. And if they do, you can beat the shit out of him because he could be in no man's land to bring up the off-tackle runs. But 90% of them will probably attempt to play safety force out here, and it doesn't work out too well. Because you can run your outside zone, your sweep, anything to get to the edge here because there is no edge defender. The safety 12 yards is not going to be able to come up, should not be able to come up in time unless he's a dude. Um, the other thing is, again, boots, keepers on inside runs, I want them going that way. So, in review, when I go two by two, I see which are against, I only want it against an unbalanced defense because they got to put that overhang on one side or the other. Now, the only alternative is they could take this backer and walk him out here. And in that case, you got that glorious five man box that all us spread guys talk about. You got five on five, inside zone trap, whatever you want inside, you got them beat. You got to be willing to live in that world. Yes, they have too high in a third and long situation. You're going to have to take a shot over that middle of the field. But, uh, yep. So, in review, against a balanced set, I like to go three by one. 
And in a two by two set, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, in an unbalanced defense, I like to go two by two. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, if you want, just tell me what you want me to go over, and I will go over it. Thanks, guys.